Ahoy hoy! Yes, may I ask who's speaking? Hello, Mr. Burns. Did you get my package? Yes, sir. Everything is on schedule. Good. Have your assistant, Mr. Snitter, send it to the following locations of a piece of paper enclosed. Understood, sir. Have you taken the necessary precautions? If word of our involvement gets out... Do not worry. No one will suspect the thing. Excellent. I'll send Smithers on his way then. He will arrive in Kalamazoo at 0500 tomorrow. If everything's been set to cover our trail, nothing will go wrong. Good. I'll contact you later. Do not be late. Yes, sir. I only hope this works. Smithers! Yes, sir? I have a special task for you. A special task from you, sir? New Smithers? For our benefactor. It's time to put the plan into motion. Take this package to Kalamazoo and to the other locations on this paper. You are to arrive at Kalamazoo at 0500 tomorrow. Understood, sir. I'll be on my way now. Excellent. You know what to do from there. Alright then, that should do it. Uh, hoi hoi. Smithers? Everything is in place, sir. I fixed all the wireless towers in this sector. You can tell our mystery man to go ahead with this area any time. Ah, excellent. Now then, proceed with your next objective. I'm counting on you. Just gotta finish the last few bits of this report, and I'm out of here. And sent. That's that. Hey Desmond. All set with the report. You know it. Just sent it to the boss now. Good. I'm getting some coffee. Want some? Why not? Up for a few rounds at the pool hall tonight. Can't. Gotta watch my aunt tonight. I'm sorry. <sighs> Always a regular boy scout or ya. Someone has to watch her. I can't just leave her alone. Why can't your brother hire a nurse? Because he's broke and can't take care of himself or his mom. Always spending money on the damn booze. You gotta stop enabling the guy. He's just using his mom too. Whoa. Eric? You okay? What's happening? I... Why won't the room stop spinning? Hang on. I'll get you out of... Whoa. The pain. Damn it.
inside of cars and train interiors, and similar locations. While no fatalities have been reported, several injuries have been confirmed, but these are mainly due to falling at odd angles. Local authorities, investigators, and medical officials are at a loss to explain this unusual phenomenon, and are looking into this incident to better understand what has happened. More information will follow as it becomes available. This is WKZO. We will continue to serve the Kalamazoo area. If you are not in this area, please tune to a station broadcasting information for your area. You are listening to the emergency alert system serving the Kalamazoo area. of the Kalamazoo Police Department and the Kalamazoo Board of Public Health. Here is an update on the incidents of citizens collapsing around the city that were reported earlier today. After police and paramedics brought them to their senses, many of the victims stated that they heard an unusual noise coming from radios and television sets. Shortly after, they reported feeling uncontrollably dizzy and nauseous, and dropped to the ground in moderate pain. Those that were far away from conventional radios or television sets were confirmed to be listening to the radio on handheld devices. In rarer cases, victims complained of intense burning sensations in their heads with symptoms similar to those of migraines. If you hear an unusual sound from a radio or television set and begin experiencing dizziness, headaches, or nausea, turn off your radio or television immediately and call 911. Authorities and medical officials are working to determine the source of the signal, and if it has any long-term effects on humans or animals to better understand the nature of this incident. More information will follow. This is WKZO, and we will continue to serve the Kalamazoo area. If you are not in this local area, please tune to a station broadcasting information for your area. You are listening to the emergency alert system serving the Kalamazoo area. Civil emergency. The following message is transmitted by request of the Kalamazoo Police Department and the Kalamazoo Board of Public Health. The strange signal that was reported to be coming from radios and television sets is reported to be coming from other electronic sources, including cell phones, tablets, personal computers, medical equipment, and even public address systems. The effects of the signal appear to have changed, with the number of people affected increasing to several hundred thousand. Victims appear to be suffering from intense headaches, severe nausea, and in some cases are going berserk and attacking other civilians and law enforcement. Police are doing their best to contain this situation and are urging all residents to stay clear of downtown Kalamazoo for their safety. All residents are asked to shut and lock all doors and windows, and to not use any electronic devices that may be affected by the signal unless it is necessary. If you are experiencing any sensations of nausea, headaches, or an increasing urge to go berserk, turn off all electronic devices immediately. If this is not possible, keep as far away from them as possible. Only use a telephone if you are able to do so and if you have a life-threatening emergency, as this signal has been coming through land and cell phone lines. Emergency management officials are attempting to keep the signal out of the 911 system with no success so far. If you are currently out on the road, please pull over and seek shelter. Stay tuned to this station for information as it becomes available. This is WKZO, and we will continue to serve the Kalamazoo area. If you are not in this local area, please tune to a station broadcasting information for your area. 
You are listening to the emergency alert system serving the Kalamazoo area. broadcast to bring you this civil danger warning. This is a civil danger warning. The following message is transmitted by request of the Kalamazoo Police Department and the Michigan National Guard. The unknown signal that was reported seven hours ago has intensified even further, and there are reports of mass rioting and civil unrest throughout the state of Michigan. At last report, hundreds of thousands of civilians have gone berserk, screaming in intense pain and attacking anything in sight. The signal appears to be affecting even law enforcement and military personnel. Military officials have advised all residents and personnel attempting to contain the unrest to immediately shut off all electronic devices broadcasting the unknown signal. As of right now, the emergency alert system is unaffected and is safe to listen to without fear of being affected. Reports have also surfaced of similar incidents breaking out in at least three other states, with police and military personnel hard-pressed to hold off large groups of violent mobs. They also appear to be affected by the signal. Authorities are still attempting to trace the source of the signal and shut it down, but have so far been unsuccessful. Until the signal is contained and shut off, all residents are advised to stay indoors, lock all doors and windows, turn off as many electronic devices as possible, and keep away from major residential areas. More information will follow. This is WKZO, and we will continue to serve the Kalamazoo area. If you are not in this local area, please tune to a station broadcasting information for your area. You are listening to the emergency alert system serving the Kalamazoo area. Good evening, this is Carl Reed of WWMT Channel 3 News with a special report. We have breaking news on a series of unusual and chaotic events occurring within downtown Kalamazoo. We also apologize for broadcasting via radio, but since we're being told not to use television signals because of the incident at hand, this is the best we can do. On that note, since early this evening, the entire city has been under assault from a bizarre signal that has caused people to fall unconscious, and as we have just seen not long ago, people have been going berserk and attacking everything in sight. Authorities are reporting that over 300,000 citizens alongside 4,500 police officers and 600 National Guardsmen have gone berserk, and any law enforcement uninfected by this calamity is having incredible difficulty holding them off. They are doing their best to avoid opening fire, but if this keeps up, there's no telling what might happen. At last report, non-lethal rounds and even tear gas is doing nothing to keep the mobs down. We're going to take the time to warn our viewers to please avoid using telephones or other digital devices. This is because the signal appears to be transmitted easily through these devices. We're also being told that it's affecting people via radio, but not as easily. If you're experiencing any, any symptoms, such as headaches, or nausea, turn off the radio now. We don't want anyone else to suffer from this phenomenon. Okay, hang on a sec. We've, we've got someone calling in. This is not advice, but we'll take the call. Uh, hello, you're on the air. Hello, this is Aaron Vanderhoven from Detroit. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, Aaron. I wouldn't advise you to be on the phone for long. The signal can affect you through it. Yeah, I know. I'll try to hurry. I'm a technician for the Detroit Telephone Company, and I can tell you that I've never seen anything like this in my life. There was nothing like this earlier today when I checked the connections. There was something outside at work here. What do you mean? I had a look at the computers. The signal's moving through the wireless and telephone signals at an alarming rate, around 300 miles a second. Could cover the whole country by now. Are you serious? When did you last see the signal making progress? It was around 2.30 p.m., almost two hours before the first reported incidents. I tried to report it to my boss, but some of my colleagues mentioned that they received a call from a General Baxter at the Pentagon, saying that they were carrying out some sort of routine test. That does sound strange. It's not like them to do something...
and gentlemen, we want to remind you, please stay away from the phones, computers, and television sets, anything digital or that could possibly be affected by this deadly signal. We're not sure what's causing this, but we've had someone call about him and about it possibly. Wait, hey, hold on. Something has just been handed to me. across the country. Hundreds of cities are falling into chaos from the signal, and there's no telling where it's coming from. New York, Seattle, Boston, Los Angeles, Dallas, and dozens of other major, major cities are being affected by this phenomenon, and it shows no signs of slowing down. Reporting from downtown Chicago is our own Krista Stockman, who has called in the midst of this chaos. She joins us near radio as our satellites have been affected by the signal. Krista, are you there? Carl, I don't know if you can hear me, but it's absolute chaos out here. It's almost as if another world war has broken out. The citizens have gone insane and are attacking everyone in sight. Even members of the military and police forces are being affected. Where exactly are you now? Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. My crew and I have set up shelter in the basement and are capturing this on video. We are hoping to bring it back to show viewers what's been happening out here. My god, this is insane. What else can you see out there? Some of the mobs have been breaking into dozens of shops and businesses, stealing whatever they can find. But the majority of them just seem intent on killing or maiming anyone they come across. They seem to be targeting the military and police forces regardless of whether they are affected by the signal or not. Have civilians been attacking each other? Sometimes, yes. They were attacking each other until the police and military arrived on the scene. It's almost as if they knew to attack them. This is getting stranger by the second then. Oh my god, is that a tank? Oh my months. god. Hang in there, Krista. We're going to do the best we can to get you out of there. Stay with us for as long as you can. All right. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you just showing us, we've been covering the chaotic events going on across the country. Riots have been springing up incredibly quickly, and both the military and police are hard-pressed to hold them off. One of our correspondents, Krista Stockman, is now pinned under a rubble in Chicago and is barely holding on. From the sounds of things, the military has been sending in tanks to attack, and Krista's team was caught in a crossfire. We're trying to get assistance to as fast as we can, but...
A cyber attack of unknown origin is being carried out against the United States, and it is believed that the first stages of it began with reports of an unknown signal affecting people in Kalamazoo, Michigan. This signal has caused full-scale riots to break out all across the United States, and hundreds of major cities are in chaos. Police and military forces have also been affected by the signal and are hard-pressed to keep the riots under control, as the situation is threatening to throw the containment effort into disarray. Officials have reported that dozens of police headquarters and armories have been attacked by the angry mobs, resulting in nearly 200,000 reported injuries and 1,293 fatalities among both the rioters and law enforcement combined. The United States government is urging all residents to stay indoors and keep away from digital electronic devices, as these have proven to be susceptible to this signal. Stay tuned to 770 AM for more information on this dangerous situation. This is an emergency action notification. All broadcast and cable stations will transmit this emergency action notification message. This station has interrupted regular programming by order of the White House to participate in the emergency alert system. During this emergency, most stations will remain on the air to provide news and information to the public in assigned areas. This is WKZO, and we will continue to provide information to the Kalamazoo area. If you are not in this local area, please tune to a local station containing news and information for your area. You are listening to the emergency alert system serving the Kalamazoo area. Please do not use your telephone. Telephone lines should be kept open for emergency use only. The emergency alert system has been activated. Hello? Is it done? Yes, sir. Rolling Blackout is in full swing. Phase 1 is complete. And all the amplifiers have been activated. All amplifiers are operating at full capacity. The entire country is going mad, and whatever pockets remain will be too insignificant to notice. We've also massed the signatures on each of the transmitter towers. They won't be detected. Excellent. Adjust the frequency to stage 3. And begin phase two of rolling blackout. Understood, sir. What about attempts to trace us in that phase? Just leave that to me, Donovan. Don't worry about a thing. Their systems are already compromised, and they don't even know it. Very well. I will inform Christy and have her team commence the break in. Good. I will be monitoring your progress to my present location. No further communications are less necessary. Yes, sir. Donovan out. Yes, Mr. Donovan. Our orders just came in. Phase two is a go. Adjust the frequency to stage three and make your move. Understood, Mr. Donovan. We'll handle everything. I sure hope so. We can't have any false moves, or this whole thing is done for. Don't worry about a thing. Even as we speak, the riches of the entire nation are at my fingertips. is being transmitted by order of the United States government. This is an update to the emergency action notification issued earlier this evening. At approximately 1.03 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, several major banks including Citigroup, Bank of America, HSBC, TD Bank, AIG, Northern Trust, and Santander all reported their systems being breached by an unknown force. In addition, dozens of major businesses, mercantile trading halls, and administration buildings around the country also suffered a catastrophic systems breach. Spokesmen for several of the breached companies have reported that the servers were breached quickly, and in as little as 30 seconds, the servers rapidly overheated and exploded, causing a series of fires that either heavily damaged or destroyed most of the buildings involved. 
Due to the continuing riots, local fire departments were unable to reach the affected sites, and several major cities are now at risk for a major fire spread. The cities at risk include, but are not limited to, Chicago, Illinois, Dallas, Texas, New York City, New York, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, St. Louis, Missouri, Baltimore, Maryland, Washington, D.C., Seattle, Washington, Los Angeles, California, Detroit, Michigan, and Las Vegas, Nevada. Those in the affected areas are advised to evacuate for their safety. If you do not evacuate, you risk serious injury or death. More information will follow. This is WKZO, and we will continue to provide information to the Kalamazoo area. If you are not in this local area, please tune to a station providing news and information for your area. You are listening to the emergency alert system serving the Kalamazoo area. Do not use the telephones. The telephone lines should be kept open for emergency use. Good morning. This is Peter Johnson with the 6 o'clock morning news. We would like to first apologize for the lack of a television broadcast this morning, but due to recent reports of television and even digital broadcasts being afflicted by a strange signal, this is the best we can do. Now, on to today's headlines. The riots throughout the country have only intensified within the last several days, with many of the afflicted still fighting each other in law enforcement despite not having slept through the night. In some major cities, such as Atlanta, Chicago and Baltimore, the rioters had been able to break through police and military lines. Reports say that law enforcement suffered extreme casualties as a result. There are various unconfirmed reports stating that a large number of officers in those cities were overrun or abandoned their posts, which may have led to the rioters gaining the upper hand. In an unrelated report, several major cities across the West Coast, including Seattle, Salem, Sacramento, Los Angeles, Las Vegas, and Salt Lake City have been experiencing unusual weather phenomena, in which large storm clouds began materializing overhead, spawning unusually intense lightning storms. Officials had been at a loss to explain this, as all forecasts in that area were clear prior to the formation of the storms. As of 30 minutes ago, the storms had become so intense that massive cloud-to-ground lightning strikes began occurring even in areas where it would normally not be possible. The lightning strikes have caused an incredible amount of property damage, destroying dozens of residential blocks and severely damaging urban areas. At last report, several power plants throughout Washington state were hit, causing major fire damage and power outages throughout many major cities across the state. Tacoma was especially hit hard. Although the riots seem to be slowing in that area due to the power outage. However, hundreds, possibly thousands of people are still out in the open in the areas being hit by the storms. Our hearts and prayers go out to all of those who are affected by this unexpected turn of events, and hope that things return to normal soon. It's 6.07 here in Philadelphia. Please stay tuned for the latest news and coverage of this growing emergency as it unfolds. Service has issued a severe weather statement for the West Coast and Midwestern United States. As of 7.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, storm spotters and Doppler radar have been tracking a massive series of catastrophic lightning storms moving across the United States. These storms have produced frequent cloud-to-ground lightning strikes that have caused serious damage to numerous cities along the West Coast. Cities that have been severely damaged or destroyed by these storms include, but are not limited to, Sacramento, California, Bakersfield, California, Seattle, Washington, Tacoma, Washington, Salem, Oregon, Portland, Oregon, Eugene, Oregon, Las Vegas, Nevada, Reno, Nevada, Boise, Idaho, and Salt Lake City, Utah. 
It has been confirmed that a number of industrial plants and power stations were destroyed in the ensuing lightning strikes, causing power outages throughout the West Coast. Authorities have been scrambling to reactivate the 911 circuits as well as basic emergency services. It was also confirmed that due to the power outages, many of the riots in some of the affected cities have begun to wind down, as the signal has not been able to affect many people without a significant power source. However, lightning strikes have already killed an estimated 400,000 people still outside and attempting to recover from the signal's effects. While it is believed that the danger from the rioting is over, all residents on the West Coast are strongly advised to get indoors to avoid lightning strikes and additional damage. Lightning is one of nature's leading killers. Remember, if you can hear thunder, then you are close enough to be struck by lightning. Move underground to avoid getting struck and wait out the storm until it passes. If you are currently out on the road, please pull over near a sturdy building or garage. Analysis of the weather patterns and Doppler radar scan shows that the severe lightning storms are moving extremely rapidly and are set to move over the Midwestern United States within the next 20 minutes. At their present rates, they may also reach the eastern seaboard inside of three hours. All residents of the Midwest and East Coast are urged to move indoors and take shelter now. Please do not use your telephone. Telephone lines should be kept open for emergency use. More information will follow. This is KUSA, and we will continue to serve the Denver area. If you are not in this local area, please tune to a station with more news and information for your area. You are listening to the emergency alert system serving the Denver area. Your attention please, this is the British Columbia Emergency Public Warning System. The following emergency bulletin may affect your area. Listen carefully. This message is transmitted by the Government of Canada and the Vancouver Police Department. As of two hours ago, a large and very dangerous lightning storm has moved north from Seattle, Washington over downtown Vancouver, causing heavy damage and casualties in the city. All citizens are urged to move indoors and take cover underground to avoid injury or death. Please do not go outside for any reason. This is a very dangerous storm and you could be endangering your life by doing so. The storm is expected to pass in the next hour, and is extremely likely to move into Alberta. Weather tracking stations have reported that the storm is likely to head due east towards Edmonton. All citizens throughout British Columbia are ordered to stay indoors until this time or until the storm passes. This emergency warning message has been broadcast for your safety. If your area is affected, take all necessary precautions and listen to any local radio, television or cable outlets for further updates. Do not use your telephone for the duration of this emergency. emergency. The following message is transmitted by order of the Colorado Department of Corrections and the Colorado National Guard. Less than an hour ago at around 8.45 a.m. Mountain Standard Time, a large explosion ripped through the Colorado State Penitentiary. It is believed that a bolt of lightning from a major lightning storm struck a propane tank within the compound, but authorities have been unable to confirm this. The explosion killed over 36 police officers and 53 additional security personnel, as well as 130 prisoners. However, the blast also tore open a large hole in the walls of the prison, allowing a number of prisoners to escape. The National Guard was called in to help contain the breach, but it has now been confirmed that over 78 inmates were able to escape, and additional 12 were apprehended as they tried to flee. It is currently not known who the prisoners are at this time. The Colorado Department of Corrections will alert the public when the identities of the escaped inmates are confirmed. These people are considered very dangerous. 
Stay tuned to this station for information as it becomes available. This is KUSA. We will continue to serve the Denver area. If you are not in this area, please tune to a local station containing news and information. You are listening to the emergency alert system serving the Denver area. Please do not use your telephone. Telephone line should be kept open for emergency use.
If you are not in this local area, please tune to a station with more news and information for your area. You are listening to the emergency alert system serving the Denver area. Do not use the telephone. The telephone line should be kept open for emergency use. Hello? This is Donovan. How are things proceeding? All according to plan, sir. I've just accessed the Pentagon's computer networks. It was all too simple. You're using the proxies, I assume. Naturally. Those dumb bastards will think it's coming from Chechnya, Cuba, and about six other locations. Excellent. Our work on the West Coast has been successfully carried out. Rig has busted almost all of our insiders out of prison. And we have gained an added bonus. A former Don Boy in general. You mean from that same nation that defeated our allies in the last war? Correct. One General Carl Rossman, to be exact. Carl Rossman? Wasn't he the general who routinely abused his newest recruits and then sent the most scared ones to the front lines straight off? The very one indeed. In spite of that, he is a brilliant tactician, and now we have his services. He was all too happy to join us to get revenge. Excellent. I'm hoping he might have knowledge on the inner workings of Don Boyland's computer networks. Once we're done here, they're next. Patience, Christy. We move when we're told to. Listen, the storms will be approaching the East Coast very soon. I need you to have their primary defense weapons activated where we need them. Not a problem, sir. Where's the target? Launch three nukes into the upper atmosphere and knock out as many electronics across the nation with a combined EMP strike. Then raise as many as you can in a radius around Fort Knox, but don't launch them. Let the weather do the rest. Understood, sir. I'll have them ready in no time.
This is an update to the emergency action notification issued earlier yesterday. At around 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, three nuclear missiles were launched over the United States and have detonated at high altitudes, resulting in a widespread electromagnetic pulse that affected much of North America, disabling an untold number of electrical systems across the majority of the continent 20 minutes later at 9.50 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. At least three dozen nuclear explosions were reported in the vicinity of central and southern Kentucky as well as southern Indiana and Ohio. Power was restored to the emergency alert system in the computer systems of several government agencies as of 10 minutes ago, as they were affected by the electromagnetic pulse. Dorad reports that the explosions have affected the following locations, Louisville, Kentucky, Lexington, Kentucky, Ewing, Kentucky, Frankfort, Kentucky, Owensboro, Kentucky, Summersville, Kentucky, Lichfield, Kentucky, Tell City, Indiana, Boonville, Indiana, Bedford, Indiana, Madison, Indiana, Seymour, Indiana, Madison, Indiana, Cincinnati, Ohio, Georgetown, Ohio, and Bethel, Ohio. FEMA response teams have confirmed that Cincinnati, Owensboro, Ewing, Louisville, Madison, Bedford, and Tell City were wiped out or severely damaged in the explosions, and severe fallout is spreading over a 150-mile radius of the aforementioned cities. All citizens within these areas and within the continental United States are strongly advised to seek out a fallout shelter if they have not done so already, as it is not known if there is another imminent nuclear attack. Fallout is a product of nuclear explosions, and prolonged exposure to fallout is fatal. If you cannot get to a fallout shelter, take shelter in a basement or center structure and make sure to lock all doors and windows inside of your home. Take all necessary supplies such as food, water, clothing, medical supplies and a battery-powered radio for your stay in the shelter. Dorad and the United States government have been working to track the source of the nuclear attacks, and it is believed that the missiles came from up to 14 different countries. Several outward trajectories have placed the launch sites in Russia, Cuba, North Korea, China, Iran, Pakistan, Syria, and Lebanon. The United States government is working to investigate the truth behind these attacks, and the president will be speaking on all stations within the next 10 minutes. Please stand by for this message. This is WKZO. We will continue to provide information to the Kalamazoo area. If you are not in this area, please tune to a station providing news and information for your area. You are listening to the emergency alert system serving the Kalamazoo area. This is Commander Aida of the Roden Ritter, Squad Alpha. Our operation is on schedule. We've breached Fort Knox's security measure. Preparing to emerge into the main vault. Excellent. Incinerate anyone who dares to oppose you, then melt the gold down for easy transport. By your command, Lord Elvis. Remember, Ada, we must move quickly. Our benefactor reports they've already restored power to their emergency broadcasting apparatus. Intelligence confirms They'll have their armed forces ready within 24 more hours. That's more than enough time. Besides, it's not like they can get anywhere near this place with the sheer amount of radiation. Yes. Our scouts reported in that anyone near Fort Knox has already died from the radiation drifting over. They won't send anyone here for quite some time now. <laughs> and now then, Ada, my dear. Do get to work. Yes, my lord. Is this the best you've got? <laughs> <laughs> Look at those bastards fly. Status. 
We've got 25% of the vault cleared. Beta Squad's bringing more of it from the upper levels now. Good. Any news from Alpha Squad? They have the army base on the ropes now. All communications are cut off due to the storms and power outages. Excellent. Continue with the operation. <laughs> They'll be talking about this one for years. This is an administrative message from the United States government. The cyber attack and nuclear attacks against the United States have ceased, and there is no imminent danger to the United States at this time. United Nations diplomats and U.S. government officials are still in negotiations with the nation's belief to have carried out the nuclear attacks. Due to the extensive damage from the recent storms and cyber attacks, Internet and essential services will not be available for some time. The fallout from the nuclear attacks is not expected to clear for at least four weeks. All residents in Kentucky, Indiana, Ohio, and neighboring states are advised to stay in their fallout shelters or place of refuge until the fallout clears. All other residents of the United States are cleared to leave shelters and are advised to remain vigilant. Electrical companies are reporting that most major power stations across the country did not sustain much damage from the storms and cyber attacks, and are working to repair and refit equipment and computers damaged from the EMP strike. Technicians estimate that power should be online again within the next 6 to 8 hours, and repairs are being carried out on damaged power lines and substations. This concludes operations under the emergency alert system. All stations may now resume normal programming operations. I say again, this concludes operations under the emergency alert system. All stations may now resume normal programming operations. <laughs>